Today I'm going to teach you about the use of sticky walls. Facilitators all over the world use this tool. It's ribstock nylon. We've got a sample up here outside and it's held down with various kinds of tape. When you have a really um, difficult surface to work with, duct tape. That's the way to go. When you have a client or a group that's concerned about their walls, painter's tape because it doesn't take off the paint off the walls. Some people use masking tape. The thicker, the better. So you can see that we put tape all along the top. Most important thing in hanging sticky walls, make sure the top is really well secured. And don't forget, um, when we're talking about using a sticky wall, um, we have things that go up on the wall. And you want to make sure that the surface upon which you are placing the wall is fairly solid so that your, your paper can stay on. And you can move paper around as exactly as you wish as you're working with the group. So this wall has got some tape all along the top, or you can do various places. The wall is a bit short, so we wrap this wall around the edge. Um, there's a cool technique that we sometimes like to use when we want to create double-sided tape. And we just take out the long painter's tape and we twist it on itself. And then we, we take it behind the wall and it creates like double-sided and then we just tear off what we don't need. And make sure that you tape the bottom of the wall as well. It's good to have two people working with your wall. I have some colleagues that know how to put it up by themselves. But believe me, I haven't mastered that trick yet. So maybe that'll be in another future blog. So sometimes your wall gets overly sticky. You can see on this wall, it's got way too much glue on it. Basically, I've sprayed it too much. And so I take my handy lint brush and I apply it and I get the worst of the glue off before I stick it in the washing machine with some very ecologically friendly gentle detergent. Let it soak for a bit, wash it twice if you have to, sometimes the wall will come up as good as new, sometimes it'll still have some rough spots on it but it will definitely take to your spray much better. Sprays. I used to buy the $20 version 3M Artist Mountain Spray, but I've been able to find that this works pretty well. Any spray adhesive general performance works pretty well. You can get them for seven or eight dollars in the US. Now, how do you spray the wall? You want to do outside. So we're outside. Got this lovely turquoise wall. You want to hold the spray can, shake it up a bit. You want to hold it 18 inches to 30 centimeters away from your wall. And you want to just lightly go back and forth like this. Once all over the wall, and then a second time five minutes later. Then fold the wall in on itself and store it in a plastic bag as we've done here. Make sure your plastic bag doesn't have holes in it. So that's your lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it. One last tip is you have a hotel room and you can't put it up with painter's tape, but you've got cloth walls, put Velcro on the edges of your sticky wall and then you can adhere it to any cloth wall in a hotel room. Push pins is another alternative. So have fun with your sticky wall and please send us your questions. I'm Barbara McKay, North Star Facilitators.